Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. What we have here is a HP uh, Touch Smart. I think it says Touch Smart 520 PC. It's uh, it came out of the e-waste. It's been looks like it's been thrown around the back of a ute, and it's obviously no good or has issues or something. So we're going to scrap it out. I've never seen one inside one of these before. I've never actually used one of these touch screen ones before. I think it's probably around about eight years old or something. But um, this one is just a good chance for us to have a peek inside and see what's inside one of these and see if there's much scrap value. So let's pull it apart together. Now with my scrapping videos, I normally say um, if we can at all sell something, we go for that first. And then I often weigh them up and see what they're worth just as dirty shred without actually touching them. I don't think you'd be able to get away with putting this in dirty shred because it's mostly plastic. But we want to see what's inside it, so let's pull it apart. It looks like the clips are all broken because it doesn't appear to have any screws. Oh, there's one right in the middle. And it looks like it just clips around the outside. There we go, pretty easy to get off. We'll save that cover because we'll put it back on when we're finished and then we can take it out to the e-waste at the transfer station. Right, so it's clearly a computer. There's gonna be a motherboard. Uh, there's a heat sink there for the CPU. A few little boards that'll probably go as mid-grade. That's obviously the hard drive. So we might, oh, it's probably not worth taking the stand off. Sometimes you can get some pretty good metal out of the base they often have cast aluminium or a good chunk of clean steel anyway so we'll probably pull the base off and then we'll take the covers off and see what electronics we've got there's quite a lot of screws in the base and as usual i'll be saving all the screws all the hardware as usual they hide screws under the sticky feet so whenever you're pulling things apart you can almost bet there'll be screws under whatever rubber feet they use. So that's got... It. Oops, there we go. Little bits on the side. And I think we still have one more screw somewhere. Not only under the sticky feet, but under the stickers. Now we should be right. Now that's a good heavy piece of steel, that. I don't think it'll be stainless. We'll check it with a magnet, and it's magnetic, so it doesn't matter if it's actually stainless or not. The fact that it's magnetic sorts it for me. But with the price of clean steel being pretty good, I reckon it's worth getting these plates off the bottom. We're also going to get some good hardware as far as springs go, and these brackets look to be cast aluminium on the corners. Okay, so we might as well take this framework off the bottom first. Lots more hardware here and these are machine threads which are really handy rather than just all getting the self tappers out of the plastic for those of you who haven't seen my videos before i do save all the hardware and put it in jars and it sells very well so this has a um a spring assembly on it uh, we can undo those screws there and it looks like it's also got retaining nuts but the springs are worth saving and these end brackets are cast aluminium and they're fairly chunky they're solid so we've got all that apart the corner brackets are cast aluminium but they have what looks to be riveted through them a steel sort of an axle now we could put them in irony aluminium like this which i think is around about 50 cents a kilo it's probably worth just giving them a thump with a hammer breaking that section off and then at least we've got some clean aluminium because it's quite thick so we'll see how they break up when we're finished. Now, to get the rest of it apart, it looks pretty simple. There's one screw here for the hard drive. I'm going to slide that way. There we go. So it's in a little caddy. Screws on the side. We'll take those out. And it's pretty well protected in there. One terabyte. Well, that's probably worth... Uh, selling rather than scrapping there's not much value in hard drives so uh, we'll probably reformat that one and sell it through the shop all right we'll get into the rest of it 
they are all Quarks bits but they've got a flat as well it's probably going to be quicker for me to go and get the Torx bit I would say because it looks like a lot of them are like that okay that's going to be better and if you're wondering about the old Bosch cordless drill you'll see me with lots of old cordless drills all different brands some of them are pretty cheap others are just very sick in the batteries and I get a constant supply of them through the e-waste that I collect and if they've still got some life in them I might as well use them the only drawback is the old ones are much heavier than the new uh, cordless drills so I'm just making this up as I go I've never seen anyone inside one of these before but with our little boards they'll go as mid-grade uh, you do need to pull out all the plugs we can't just chop the wires and we will take the plugs off the wire later for whatever we're going to sell as insulated wire now I'm not sure how this comes out well that comes off and I'm not even sure what this is there we go um, oh it's the CD DVD rewritable drive I don't think there's going to be much value in that we might just pop the lid and see if there's a board in there there's hardly anything in there it's very light too so we have very light gauge steel casing and there's going to be the tiniest of boards under here not worth getting apart in my view we'll just put that in with the e-waste okay I'm not going to disturb any of this main frame because we want to put the back back on it there's only going to be the touch screen in front of that we'll get to the motherboard and the heatsink with the CPU and that's probably all we want out of it and we'll cut out a bit of wire perhaps And more steel and there we go there's the motherboard this looks pretty interesting little ram sticks now I don't know if they'll be saleable or not we'll better be careful pulling them out the battery's got to come out and we'll unplug the leads this is a pretty cool looking heatsink lots of copper so we'll undo this see what the CPU is and we might as well get the motherboard out That's a pretty cool piece hey there's not a lot of weight in it so it's an aluminium it'll go as an aluminium copper radiator we're probably best just to cop, cut the copper off there and then at least we're going to get some clean copper the heat sinks quite a thick piece we've got obviously got to take this steel bracket off but that'll add up to a little bit of weight there's also more copper still here okay some more copper another little radiator not a lot of weight in it Alrighty, I've got all the wires unplugged. Uh, we've got to see what the CPU is. I don't know if these are saleable or not. As I said, it's probably around about eight years old. Uh, we'll just duck around here and see if we can read that. i5. Maybe i5s are still worth selling. I do need to be careful with these in that if I'm going to sell them, I need to know how to post them. I did a little bit of reading on them and apparently they need to be posted in a static a static free plastic bag or something like that uh, I'm even a bit hesitant to take it out and handle it I don't know how sensitive they are so if you know a bit about these things let me know in the comments please uh, I don't want to rip it out um, accidentally drop it on the ground shove it in a post pack and you know put it on eBay for 20 bucks or something and you know it's likely to be shorted out from static or something like that when it gets to the other end I don't want to get a bad reputation as a seller likewise with the RAM I'll have to check these RAM to see what size they are and if they're saleable I'm not even sure how they come out and uh, again oh, there we go it just flicks up again I need to know how to treat them carefully so you know any of you guys any of you guys that are into computer stuff let me know I haven't had a lot of experience at computers uh, what's that I can't make out any size on that one four gig so yeah look they may well be saleable I'll put those aside carefully until I get some feedback from you guys uh, look I could just throw them in the scrap but they're so light that they're going to be only worth a matter of cents if I can get a few dollars for them either through the shop or on eBay or something 
I'm much better off doing that. I'd rather have stuff be re reused than scrapped. I think scrapping is probably the last option. So I'll get the CPU out carefully. I'll take the other RAM stick out. We'll take the motherboard out then. We've already got the battery off it. I've unplugged all the things, so that'll go as a motherboard. I don't know if it's got a, much of a value. Um, again, let me know if you think it has, but I pretty well just stack up the motherboards in a tub and sell them uh, as scrap, unless I can identify one being worth a bit. And that's all we're going to take off this. Uh, there's no sense getting the fan off. There's no sense pulling any more of the steel off. These are speakers up here. They can stay there. So we'll take the motherboard out now. We'll put the cover back on the, the actual computer so I can take it back to the transfer station. And we'll clean up the rest of our goodies and see what sort of value we've got. And there's a motherboard free. Uh, it's quite a heavy one, actually, although I think this plate needs to come off. Uh, I believe these brackets are okay to leave on, but the plate underneath needs to come off. So uh, I'm not sure on that one, and I don't even know how to get this plate off. Oh, I think because we've already got the screws off the top, it should just lever off. So again, that's something to be careful with. Check with your buyer. Uh, but I would imagine that I'm doing the right thing by taking that off, because that's just dead weight, and I think that bracket can stay on. So it's still quite a, a beefy little motherboard. I'm not sure that it's going to have any value as a board, but I'll put it aside for now and I might just check it just to make sure. Okay, so let's run through the final facts and figures of this scrap out. It's fairly windy out here today, so I've actually written all the prices down already. But we'll go through them now for you. We had the pile of clean pressing steel. I've worked on 25 cents a kilo, about 60 cents. Next one was a bit of insulated wire, which I chopped the plugs off. And then we also left a little bit of low-grade wire with the plugs still on. And they were just five cents each. Uh, very low quantities, of course. Now, I chopped the, the radiator parts off the heat sinks. They don't weigh a great deal, but they'll sell as copper aluminium radiators. And that left us with a pile of copper. It'll go as number two copper, uh, because it has bits of solder and whatnot on it. It's not um, perfectly bright and shiny. And so weighing them out, we got 30 cents for the radiators, 90 cents for the copper. A couple of uh, mid-grade boards are really tiny ones. Where did I put them? Over here. Um, just for the sake of a figure there, five cents. Then we have the ironing aluminium. Now, I quickly tried to smash that off and it wouldn't smash. It was quite tough. I suspect it's a bit of a, a zinc aluminium alloy uh, it still would go as cast aluminium but I tried to punch the rivet out quickly I even started cutting with a hacksaw but I didn't have a sharp blade so it wasn't worth the effort we'll just sell them as any aluminium 50 cents a kilo at the moment for that so as they are they would bring back 20 cents now the better payer and we're just looking at scrap for this option the motherboard uh, as I said before it's quite a, a weighty one that worked out at $1.80. The RAM worked out at $0.30, cents, just approximate. The CPU about $0.20. Cents. The hard drive about $0.40. Cents. And the hardware I valued at $0.50. Cents. And I get that figure from... I sell jars of assorted hardware, which weigh around about 2 kilos for 5 bucks, and they sell very easily. So that would work out then at $2.50 a kilo. And we had enough here about... A fifth of a kilo so there's 50 cents um, so that's where I got my figures from just for scrap and a little bit of hardware just over five dollars so for those of you that probably can't sell hardware say five bucks uh, scrap wise it's worth doing I think it's you could knock one of these apart in 10 minutes or 15 minutes if you had to, you know a few to do in a row they uh, they're always fun to pull apart and I think then it's a, a viable scrapping exercise. We all like to stash away a bit of copper. Uh, for those of you us who uh, who melt it, it's probably good copper to do that with. Uh, the price of steel is pretty good at the moment. So that's purely for scrap. Now, for those computer orientated and who like to do a bit of eBay selling, perhaps I did get some rough prices. Now it's pretty hard to work out. Uh, the CPU was an i5. They seem to sell between $20 and $30, but 
As I said earlier, I really need, need to know how to package them properly. I probably personally wouldn't put something on eBay to make 20 bucks. By the time you take your time into account to list it, there's going to be some fees and then you've got to package it. Uh, I don't think I'd bother, but some of you might be uh, that way inclined. Same with the RAM. Now I could probably put these in the shop and maybe at $10 for the CPU, uh, maybe $20 for the pair of RAM, so I can get much better value that way. The motherboard was a curious one. I typed in all the numbers off the board and some were selling buy it now for you know, almost $200 and yet it's about an eight year old motherboard. So maybe there's something I'm not looking at there, uh, but there were quite a lot seemed to have sold, mostly overseas. Uh, but as I have no way of testing it and the computer was obviously thrown in the e-waste because it had issues, uh, I wouldn't be confident in trying to sell the motherboard. And, and I guess that would include the RAM and the CPU already on it. So. I don't know. I th Let me know your thoughts on that. Do any of you actually do sell your motherboards? If it was a modern computer, I'd probably give it a go, but an old computer that came in the e-waste, I wouldn't be happy retailing that on eBay and just crossing my fingers that it was a good goer. The hard drive, though, is a different kettle of fish. Now, we'd need to format it, and you'd need to do a little bit more than just your, your standard Windows quick format. I think you've got to download a program to format it properly because you do have to be careful of privacy of data. I don't know where this computer came from. I have no idea what's on this hard drive. Uh, yes, the people who threw it out probably should be more careful, but I'm not going to propagate any um, distribution of data that might be a privacy, privacy breach. So it would need to be formatted properly, which is going to take time. But the, the one terabyte hard drives do seem to bring $50 consistently. So I would probably get that sort of money in the shop but I would have to format it so when you look back at our scrap price the hard drive was only 40 cents so I think there's good avenue there for making some extra dollars on the hard drive you can be assured that it'll be in good order if you are running a proper reformatting tool on it so I think that's worth doing anything above one terabyte of course depends when you watch this video because if you watch this video in three or four years time the one terabyte is probably be considered small and useless so you will have to consider whatever size hard drive you get out and whether it's still currently sought after so there you go we'll we'll consider it a successful scrap um even just for the scrap value five bucks in 15 minutes is is not too bad it's good fun you're not generating very much wastage at all i'll take this um unit back out to the transfer station so it'll get recycled and I'll put all these other respective piles in there in their various bins and buckets and I'll sell them as scrap down the track but I will look at reformatting this and I might do a bit of research and do another video on how to safely reformat a hard drive uh, and what programs perhaps work the best so thanks for watching look out for me in the next video I'll probably do some more scrapping ones soon I know a lot of you have joined my channel for those so we'll try and keep them coming See ya.